This is a video on a hypothesis test for a mean. The question states, the California poppy has mean height of 35 centimeters. With fertilizer, will the plant grow taller? 65 poppies planted in fertilized soil grew to a mean height of 37 centimeters. The standard deviation for poppy heights with or without fertilizer is 9 centimeters. What can be concluded at the 0 0.05 level of significance? So let's first start by writing down our null and alternative hypotheses. We want to find out whether or not the fertilizer will make the plant grow taller. And that means taller than 35 centimeters. So H0 is saying that no, it won't. It's still going to be 35 centimeters. So H0 is mu equals 35. We use a population mean because a hypothesis test always tests for a population parameter. So we use mu and not x bar. For H1, we want to find out if the poppies will grow higher in fertilized soil. So H1 is mu is greater than 35. So now let's write down the cast of characters. We have that the mean for these poppies was 37 centimeters. So x bar equals 37. We have that the standard deviation for all poppies, not just these 65, but for all poppies is 9 centimeters. So sigma, the population standard deviation, is equal to 9. We're testing 65 poppies, that's a sample size, n is equal to 65. We want a 5% level of significance. So what I want to do is first find out what is the critical z value that corresponds to a 5% level of significance. Since we have a right tail test, that means the area to the right is 5%. So the area to the left should be 95%. So let's use a calculator to find the critical z value that corresponds to the area to the left being 95%. So here's the calculator. If I want to find a z such that the area to the left of that z is 0.95, I use the inverse normal function. I find that by going to second, distribution, and I scroll to invnorm, which is the inverse normal function, hit enter, and then type in the 0.95. Since I have a standard normal z value, I can use just 0.95. I don't need a mean and standard deviation. So I end the parenthesis and hit enter. So we can say that the z critical value rounded to three decimal places is about 1.645. So now let's find my z statistic and the p value for this hypothesis test. So to do that, I go to stat and then test because I'm doing a hypothesis test. And it's just a standard Z test. Again, Z, because we know the population standard deviation, I can use Z instead of T. So I hit enter. So I do want statistics. My mu naught is 35 because that's what H0 tells us, mu equals 35. So 35, which is there already, but I hit 35 and enter. Sigma is 9, so 9 and enter. X bar is 37, so 37, and hit enter. And then N is 65, 65, and hit enter. And we have an H1 that mu is greater than 35, so we do want greater than mu naught. 
So I go to greater than mu naught and hit enter. And then I hit calculate, which means I hit enter on calculate. And that gives me a test statistic, which is a Z statistic, of about 1.79, and a p-value rounded to two decimal places of about 0 0.04. So let's go back to the PowerPoint and summarize. Okay, so we have a Z critical value of 1.645. We had a test statistic of 1.79 and our p-value was 0 0.04. On a picture, we have a normal curve, because we know the population standard deviation. Our critical value is 1.645. The rejection region is to the right of that, so I shade that in. The fail to reject region is to the left. And notice at 1.79, the test statistic is to the right of 1.645. In particular, it's in the rejection region. So that means I get to reject the null hypothesis. Let's also look at the p-value and show that that gives us the same result. So the p-value was about 0 0.04. Alpha is 0 0.05. So we can see that the p-value is less than alpha. That means that the probability that this could happen, that we could get such a large z value or a large x bar, just by random chance, had mu really been 35, that's a very small probability. So that means we get to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. So now it's time to state the conclusion. We can conclude that we reject the null hypothesis and we accept the alternative hypothesis. And we can state that there is statistically significant evidence to state that California poppies grow taller than 35 centimeters on average when planted in fertilized soil. And I'm done with the problem.